I'm Dr. Richard Terry, the Dean of the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine at Elmira. You know, since COVID, we've gone to this virtual platform, and now we're doing interviews virtually. And I think the question for you is, how do you sell yourself virtually? Well, first of all, I'd start with being yourself. And just as I'm looking at the camera, it's kind of hard. You're not looking at someone else. You're not really talking to anybody else. But you need to look at the camera as if you're making eye contact with the person who may be across from you on the Zoom screen. So, number one, we take a deep breath, compose ourselves, and we start talking to the camera and get comfortable with that and selling yourself in that manner. Remember, it's a two-dimensional. They're not really being able to see you or really can always pick up on those emotions. So I would say if you generally are a person with a low-key personality, maybe not overly charismatic, learn how to act. You're going to have to be more engaging online. Use your hands more, smile, make eye contact, be responsive. The worst thing in the world I see when doing a Zoom interview is someone who's not responsive and not paying attention. So you have to work about two times harder online to engage people. So when you're doing it online, make sure you're fully paying attention to whatever question may be, may be asked. Because remember, online our attention span is even shorter than it is in person. So you have to really make the sell in two minutes. And if you don't make that within you know, two minutes, they've turned you off already. They've already made a decision about you. You know, most studies have shown that we make decisions about people within about the first 10 seconds, about whether we like them or we don't like them. So you want to smile, be engaging, obviously, look professional, answer the questions as directly and succinctly as possible. Don't use big words, use small words, be direct, be humanistic, try to tie answers into things that might be germane to things that you've done. So, Virtual interviewing can be nerve-wracking, but Unfortunately, that's what you're going to have to deal with. It's very limited. You're a box. Perhaps they may interview as many as 10, 20 people in a particular day, and you need to stand out. And the way to stand out is to sell yourself, really sell what's virtuous about you, what's different, what's unique, what have you done that's different. We know that everyone wants to come to this program, and my other advice would be know why you've applied to that program. Don't just apply because you're checking a box. I've applied to your program because I know you're very strong in uh, colon surgery, and I want to be a surgeon, and you do a lot of colon surgery. I've applied to this program because I know you do a lot of pediatrics within the residency program, and I want to be a family physician who does a lot of that. I've applied to this program for whatever specialty because I know, know something about the institution you've applied to, and know something about the program director, nothing is better than flattery to the program director to say, well, yes, doctor, yes, Dr. Terry, I read your book. You read the book I wrote? Oh. Immediately, flattery, or I've read the article. Know something about the faculty, know something about the residency, and demonstrate genuine interest even if you're not interested. Because you know what? They may be your 12th rank, your 13th rank, maybe your 15th, and that may be the place you land. So you want every place to show, to think that you're interested in them and that you'll rank them highly. Don't be dismissive of anything. Sell yourself on every single virtual interview. It's a performance, an Oscar performance, each time selling yourself to why they would choose you. You've already qualified for the interview, which means that you are rankable, or I should say matchable, okay? You know, so the key, now that you have the interview, you want to be a high rank, rankable, all right? So you've, you've met the criteria to be potentially considered for that rank list, but now you want to be considered. So you want to sell yourself. So the key is being yourself, being animated, being humanistic, being as personal as you can, and getting comfortable talking to the screen. You're not an observer in this case. You're an active participant. They're going to look at you even when you're not talking. It may be a group setting. They're going to look. Well, what's he doing? He's texting. He's not paying attention. His attention span isn't there. So those are some keys to success in the virtual interview process. I would also suggest practice. Practice with your peers. 
significant other or even one of your deans, possibly. I've certainly done those settings myself where I've played the interview and done that for certain students, particularly if you're someone who's not necessarily comfortable in that environment. That's the reality of it. We've got to get used to it. Uh, I don't see that changing in the near future.